Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to an indoor charity shop haul. No, no, that isn't my. I was saying I started this video far too fast. Um, hi guys, it's Adam. We'll start again. Um, and welcome to an indoor car boot haul slash charity shop haul. That's what I was going to say. So, um, yeah, I went, I walked up to my indoor car boot quite late, really. But I thought whatever I get is a bonus. You know, I'm all right. I'll just go around the charity shop. Uh, charity shops afterwards so you know even if I don't get a lot from the car boot I've got charity shops as a backup so yeah thought to myself I'll just walk up late see what I get um so yeah charity shop purchase first uh something really cool actually uh Mario Kart Double Dash on the GameCube paid 150 for this the case has got some sticker residue and stuff and just a little bit of wear general wear around uh the insert in inside there but um you know it's okay uh, there is a bit of scratching to the disc. I'm going to test it, um, obviously, to make sure. Because I, I think I've got a Wii knocking about. So I should be able to test it. But I don't know. I might have to wait till I get a Wii in. Um, but yeah, £1.50, I wasn't going to say no. Tested and working. I did just have a quick look. Because I honestly don't. I didn't have a clue what these were going for. I, I was thinking it's about 20 25 And that's around what they're going for. But there's a few that are listed a little bit less. Um, but mainly a lot of sales have been around that 20, 25 pound range. There's one guy I think we've got 28, so I don't know, but we'll see. We'll see around that range. But still, it was a good pickup from from, from, the, from the charity shop, so we're going to even speak for 150. Um, speed stacks, I sold one of these last night and I bought these yesterday from the charity shop, so that was pretty funny. Um, paid a quid, yeah, standard sort of bread and butter range, 10 quid into. In, in, 10 quid plus postage can't even speak today um yeah 10 quid plus postage so 13 quid all in uh etch a sketch two pound from the boot sale uh yeah i've sold these for again standard bread and butter range 10 pound plus postage maybe get a little bit more come uh you know now it's quarter four but we'll see i'll have to double check uh complete and sold so might be able to push 15 or something like that so yeah that was all right and i did i did pay the two quid i didn't barter down on that i thought yeah i'll just pick it up for two quid um so that was that one uh car boot again some shirts uh, I'll try and get these out nicely because they're really well folded. Although, to be honest, I'm going to be putting these on the mannequin anyway. Uh, this is a Timberland shirt. It is a regular fit large. So, yeah, L slash G, so large. Um, yeah, quite a nice shirt there. Uh, paid £1.50. I paid £1.50 each of these. I was half expecting to say, oh, they're like five quid or something because at this point it was quite late into the boots and I thought, well, Surely a clothing seller would have picked these up, but maybe there just wasn't a clothing seller around. So, 150 probably get about 20 quid for a Timberland shirt, so that's pretty cool. I'll have to double check, though. I've not sold a Timberland shirt in a long time, because I've not really been doing clothing much. Um, Timberland, again, uh, large, uh, another large shirt, regular fit. Again, quite a nice one there. Should be able to get about 20 quid for that. So, you know, 150 each, 40 quid. Hopefully into 40 quid. I'm happy with that. Um, so that was quite nice. Uh, what else did I get? I don't know how much I'm going to get for this, actually. Because I forgot what Ralph Lauren shirts go for. Again, because I've, I've not been doing clothing as much. Um, I really don't have a clue. But uh, 450 for this shirt. I really do like the style, though. It's a nice checked style. It's got... It's like a... Um, it's so almost like a... No, it's a black, actually. I was thinking it's, like, very, very dark blue uh, with red, but it's actually black. But I quite I quite like that shirt. It's got the Ralph Lauren logo on it somewhere. Uh, somewhere there in, in, like, navy blue or maybe even black. But that's quite nice. So I paid 4 50 for that. So I paid a little bit. So I suppose you could say I paid up a little bit, but not terribly. Uh, I'm sure there's still some money in that. So, yeah, quite happy with that one. Uh, what else did I get? Um, oh, just a, a sealed DVD for Amazon, two ninety nine. It goes for, I believe, seventeen ninety nine on Amazon. So yeah, that was that one. I'll just go in a shipment, get me some money back at least. So that was pretty awesome. Um, got this for one ninety nine. Um, I looked on eBay and I couldn't even see it. So. I mean, I can kind of dictate the price. I think something like this, you're not really going to get any more than 20 quid for, but um, maybe, maybe go for 15 plus postage. I might shoot for 20, just, just you know, shooting for it, but I don't know whether I'm going to get it. Um, 
But yeah, it seems to be in fairly nice condition inside. As I say, I only paid two quid, so it's not too bad, even if I only get sort of 15 quid for it. But I don't know, uh, you're, you're not really going to see that because there's loads of dominoes in it and we're all just going to fall everywhere. But it is in nice condition. It's got um, it's got some sort of rules, set of rules there in really nice condition. So, yeah, don't know on that one, but I thought I'd just take a punt on it because the things that you can't find on eBay, sometimes, you know, it means that you can kind of charge, not what you like, but you can certainly charge a fair amount of money because they're not on eBay, but it really depends on whether that right buyer is going to see that item to be able to pay that amount of money. So yeah, we'll see with that one, 199 Um Now, last time, last time I bought this, uh, last time I saw this, I think I got about 15 quid for it, um, and I paid up on this, I really did pay up on this, 3 99 um, for this Stay Alive now. It was, it is like really, really good condition, but I, lo I looked on sold and we weren't doing amazing, but I do think I could achieve maybe 15 to 20, tw hopefully 20, because I paid four quid for it, so really I need to get 20 for it. Um, but we'll see, we'll see, I don't know about that one, it might have been a bit of a misjudgment on my part, but I think I'm going to try for 20 and we'll see, being the time of year that it is, I'm going to hope that someone picks it off at 20. But I did look on at solds and they seemed to be considerably less. And I was thinking this was better than it was because I've sold it in the past for okay money. So I don't know on that one. I might have made a bit of a mistake. But still, I'm going to I'm gonna whack it on high. It's the time of year. Hopefully it'll sell. We'll see. Um, so that was that. Um, something I'm really, really happy to get. Something I was really, really, really happy to get. Can anyone guess what this is? What's inside this? It isn't a briefcase, although it looks suspiciously like a briefcase. Um, but actually, inside it, it's something I've wanted to get for so long because I've not seen them around for a while. Oh, sorry, I've got it oh, wrong way up. Um, but these have sold really, really well for me. Like, really, really well. I mean, I sold out of these, actually. Uh, smaller ones of these, actually. Um, a few weeks back and I was like I need to get some more I need to find some more because these are good profit um, but basically I don't even know whether I'm going to be able to lift this up but I see it's very very heavy with all these tapes in but can you see that it's massive there must be must be able to fit about 40 or 50 tapes in there maybe 10 on each no more there's 15 on each row there's 15 on each row so that must be uh, mass 60 tapes 60 tapes in there now i've sold ones of these that are a lot smaller than this and i've got like 15 quid i think most i would have got was about 20 maybe so i don't know on this one i don't even know how high i could go on this maybe 30 quid something like that i really haven't a clue um i'm not sure i don't really want to bundle the tapes with it because it's weight like there's a lot of weight in these tapes so I don't know what I'm going to do with the tapes. I've, generally, I've got these and I've had tapes before and I've kind of just bundled them up, but we don't really do that well, so I don't know. Although, saying that, you know, more recently, people are getting into tapes a lot more, so I don't know whether there's a better market for them these days, but I was happy with that. And, I, oh, yeah, I didn't even tell you I paid three quid for the lot. That was an... Uh, no, sorry, no. I, I got chatting to the guy, actually. Really nice guy. So, uh, funnily enough, I, I swear I'd seen him before, but I got chatting to the guy and uh, I said, oh, that's a bargain, that is at three quid, after a bit of conversing. And um, he said, yeah, yeah, it is that. And then I said, well, yeah, I'll have that for three quid. And then he says, oh, don't worry, mate, here you go, I'll have that quid back. So uh, I got it for two quid, so I was really, really happy. So, um, yeah, there's going to be some good money in that. I just don't really know what to do, what to do with the tapes. Uh, if it's still open as well... Mm. That's left a bit of sticker residue there, but that's okay. Uh, I was just going to show you I've got the key there, which is always good. Um, so, yeah, that's that. So, I'm really, really happy to get one of them. Hopefully, that'll go pretty quickly as well if I get my pricing right. Um, but, yeah, really, really big one. You, you want to look for the big ones of them. And also, like, the, um, the wooden ones. I've sold a lot of the wooden ones for good money as well. But I sold uh, two of those ones, like, like that but just a lot smaller, and I swear I got about 15 quid plus post, something like that, so, 
yeah, pretty, pretty happy with that. That was a good pickup. And then finally, at the car boot sale, uh, bear in mind, this was like 45 minutes in, and it was an indoor car boot sale, and there was like 20 stalls, maybe 25, and uh, m there must have been other resellers who had, who had been round. Now, all I'm thinking is that there wasn't anyone there who does FBA, right? Because on eBay, you wouldn't get the same money for these. So, basically, I'm going to... I swear I've seen this on someone's channel. I think it was a guy called Blicks on the Dollar who did this. But I, I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe I've not seen it on another channel. But we'll do this because it's funny. So, there we go. Right. So, I don't know whose channel I saw that off. But maybe it was a Lego uh, channel. So I didn't pay a pound, I actually bug, I got them for 60p a unit and there's 21 of them. And it's this Lego uh, Disney Princess uh, 30116, I don't know what this is called, I think it's Rapunzel's stand or Rapunzel's bakery stand or something, I, I, I can't remember the name of the set, they don't actually put the names of the set on. Um, well, we don't in this country anyway, but yeah, so I got got these for 60p a unit, 21 of them. Uh, there's one FBA offer on uh, uh, on Amazon for £6.39, 16,000 in toys and games, so it's got a decent wank on it. But there's, as I say, there's only that one FBA offer, so I mean, even at six quid, I'm probably making a bit of profit. I've got to make sure, though, that... Uh, Amazon don't charge me like a bomb on the fees because with some poly bags, Amazon see. Oh, well, well, this is what they used to do. They they charged for um, a higher FBA fee or something. I heard off a few people. Um, so I've got to make sure they're not charging me a bomb in fees for these. Um, and like, I don't know. I don't know why they would charge me like for a box or something. You know, to ship it out in. But. I swear I heard of a few people that were getting hammered on my fees for poly bags. But, yeah, um, I don't think it's ever really happened to me. But it's something that I'm a bit worried about with these because it's kind of lower margin. Um, but, yeah, so I, I might be tempted to shoot for about 8 99 on these and hope that that other guy sells out at that £6.39. Um, because it's a, it's a fairly decent rank. So I could, and with there being only one FBA offer, I think I might be able to do that. So yeah, from 60p into 8.99 cost me 13 pound 20 all in total, um, or it might have been 13 pound 80. I'm not sure, one of the two. Um, but whatever, 21 times uh, 60 pence is. So yeah, I'm happy with those. I did work it out. You know, if I were to get like uh, six pound odd each, it would be 126. I think I worked it out to be. If I got more than that, then it would be more than that. So I'm quite happy with that. But I just am um, a bit worried that Amazon might uh, have higher fees for these or whatever because of dimensions or something like that. So I've got to just make sure that uh, I'm down with that. Generally, I don't worry too much about that with poly bags because I have a lot bigger margins with, with poly bags rather than just like six pounds. Generally, what I try and do is, is select higher value poly bags. So like 20 pound, 25 pound poly bags rather than sending in like six pound poly bags. So... Yeah, that's why I'm a little bit worried at the moment with that. But we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, so, got a load of them. You saw them all full, so I'm not going to pick all of them up and, and show you, but there's just a few more, just so you know. Um, so, yeah, that's everything. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy it, please do leave a like or a comment down below. And I will see you in the next video. I will be doing another Ads Invest video very, very soon on the subject of cryptocurrency. It's going to be specifically on how to buy Bitcoin, because... I think that's the best first video. I think what I might do is a very, very simple explanation of what Bitcoin is and then follow on in the video to actually buy some Bitcoin in the easiest way possible. So then if anyone were to want to buy Bitcoin, um, then, you know, you can do it in an easy way. Because I know a lot of people are like, I don't know how to buy it. I don't know, uh, you know, how I go about it. I don't want to get scammed or anything like this. So... Um, I think that's the best video I can do for starting with a cryptocurrency bid. What is Bitcoin in a very simple explanation and then actually how to buy it. So yeah, um, I'll leave it there guys for this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now guys.